Hey everyone, this is Fernando doing another video for Modern Survivalist. In this case, a uh, much debated, heated topic, bird shot for home defense. It's like 9mm versus 45 or pistols versus, re versus revolvers. It's one of those things that people argue about forever and I think it is even though it's not easy to reach a final decision, I want to shed a little bit of light based on what I know about this and maybe clear out a little bit of, of some of those uh, commonly uh, accepted uh, <laughs> realities and truths about it. Uh, I'll start with a little story of mine. I had a, a friend in school uh, many, many years ago when I was still going to school. <laughs> <laughs> this friend of mine, he went hunting with, with his dad. So they would both be out there in the field with their shotguns, right? Imagine the Argentine pampas with grass going uh, bird hunting, small birds, uh, perdices, that sort of thing. And he would tell me, I remember it quite well, that his father would shoot at him as a joke. Uh, using real 12 gauge shotguns nonetheless. This is, sounds pretty psychopathic, maybe it is. His father would shoot him from a greater distance with a shotgun like this. Boom. And those shots would fall on him and do nothing at all. How does that work? Well, it happens to work this way. For those of you guys that aren't familiar with it, a 12 gauge shotgun shell uh, not my best drawing, but about this type of, of dimension, give or take, right? Uh, this is m metallic and plastic part. The plastic part is generally filled for uh, for bird shots. You have smaller pellets, many, many of them. For buck shot, which is what's often recommended for the fence, you have larger size pellets, sometimes as large as 9 millimeter, maybe 9, 9 millimeter pellets or so, or smaller ones. And for slugs, you have one solid piece of lead. That's the kind of short version of what you can have in a, in a 12 gauge shot shell. Now, going back to this, <laughs> this friend of mine, his father would shoot him this, this far away and it would do nothing to him. Those, those pellets would fall on him, would rain on him, and he would just notice it, but it doesn't even penetrate skin, clothing, nothing at all because of the distance. I don't know exactly what kind of distance that uh, it was involved here, but I know that this is perfectly possible to happen and not get injured by, uh, by those pellets. The thing is that especially with a bird shot and buck shot you never should try any of this with slug of course but especially with bird shot the more distance there is the more it spreads the less speed it has the less energy it has the less damage it will do so if you shoot a bird shot 12 gauge shell at say um, uh, two yards or meters gonna be doing a bit of a ragged big hole. If you shoot at 10, 15 yards, it's gonna be spreading much more. If you shoot at 50 yards or more, it's not gonna be even, um, yeah, maybe 50, that would be pushing it. 60, 70, 100 yards for sure, it's not gonna be effective even against birds, small little birds. One of the common sayings is that birds, bird shot should be only used for birds. That's what most of the, the tactical cool guys that know a lot about uh, <laughs> ballistics say. Um, yeah, you only use a bird shot for birds. Is that true? Well, yes, it is up to an extent. If you use that bird, shell, uh, bird shot shell for hunting birds, which is the obvious role that it's intended for, it's going to be working for, you know, a bird is has less meat than <laughs> a typical hand. It's a very small creature. So for a little bird flying in the sky, it's going to be effective. If it's going to be spreading within a certain effective distance, it's going to be spreading about like this, showering your little bird and killing it. Bird's it's going to be dying because of that shot. Now, if you use that same bird shot, 12 gauge shotgun shell on your little bird at two yards away, you're not going to be having much of a bird anymore. You're going to be having a red splatter of, of feathers and such. It range makes all the difference here, folks. 
range is what matters. I also had another friend, she was, I think she was 10, 10 11 years old, she went with her, her father during a, uh, during a trip and they were camping uh, one night his father uh, they were they were hunting and while camping during a confused mistaken episode he thought that some there was an, uh, a burglar of some sort uh, going around the, the camping grounds and such he took a shot at a uh, at someone walking or running around turns out that he actually shot his own daughter he shot her in her in, in her side on, on her leg and i remember uh, seeing the wound she had. Um, suppose this is uh, make, make it a little bit bigger human 12, 10 year old girl leg it was something like this right a, a very nasty wound about about this size co almost covering most of her leg if that shot had been taken closer it would have ripped her leg off right so again the range in which this is happening makes quite a bit of a difference. That's why I'm of the I'm a, I'm one of those that thinks that for home defense, it is viable to use birdshot. Oh, but it's only for little birds. You know what, dude? Fifty BMG is only supposed to be an anti-material rifle round, and it's still used for humans. And believe me, it's gonna be killing you nonetheless. Can birdshot kill you? No doubt about it. Within a certain range, it can kill you. It does kill people. Do people survive getting shot with it? Of course. Just like they certainly can survive being shot with anything else. Let's go a little bit here, comparing what happens now. The, the guys that cry about, no, oh, birdshot is only for little birds, the blah, 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 they will immediately quote that you need 12 inches of penetration to have an effective, effective balli uh, terminal ballistics. They think that, well, this is what the FBI says, this is like a holy grail of some sorts, you always need 12 inches of penetration. Well, you know, if I grab a baseball bat and beat you over the head, I will have zero penetrations, so you will still be pretty much dead doesn't make much of a difference in that case and you may be thinking well this is comparing apples to oranges and such if we look at the numbers of the energy we're making reference to if you compare 45 ACP which is an acceptable stopper an energy of a uh, 400 feet per pound 12 gauge even the average burst shot 2500 it packs almost five times the energy of a 45 ACP. That may not look impressive because, well, you will have low penetration. If you look at some of the ballistic um, tests uh, with birdshot, you will have, you will see that it penetrates about, about four inches of penetration with a few pellets maybe going uh, as much as six, seven inches of penetrations. Not impressive, especially if you think about uh, looking at 12 inches of penetration. A good effective handgun round, for example, the 357 Magnum will show that kind of penetration, 12, 13, even 14 inches of penetration. If it's a, a jacket hollow point, penetrates a little, expands, then keeps penetrating and has that uh, uh, temporary and, and uh, uh, temporary cavity and and, um, and, a, and a nice uh, uh, profile in gelatin. Now, uh, if you look at how it would perform against flesh bone, there's a good video, uh, the guys from Gunblast, gunblast.com, uh, the guy there, I don't remember his name, he did a test shooting actual uh, bone and meat and he saw that it does penetrate about 4 inches. Again, with a few of those little pellets going even further. It's going to be penetrating at those ranges, at, at close ranges, which are the ones you're likely to encounter inside a home. Guys, typical house if we're talking about indoor ranges, uh, a shotgun is already a long arm, so it has a certain length already. If we look at that and think of the possible scenarios, three, four, four yards, four meters tops, that would be a maximum realistic range for a shotgun being used indoors. All right, within those that range, you're going to be having a penetration of about four inches in. in 
in flesh. Now, what kind of wound is going to be making? It's going to be making a very gruesome wound. You may be thinking, well, you don't have those 12 inches of penetration. No, but you have a lot of energy involved as we clearly see here. Um, the more technical guys will say, no, if it doesn't penetrate 12 inches, forget about it, it just doesn't work. There's lots of horror stories of, of birdshot not working. I'm just telling you that it didn't uh, kill a little girl <laughs> that was, you know, a much less of a, of a threat than the average big um, bad guy breaking into a house, armed and such. So how come it, it could work at, at this kind of range? In, in this kind of range, with this penetration, uh, I mean, ha having a hole in your chest about <laughs> an inch across, uh, at those ranges you're going to be having the plastic wad in there as well. Some of those pellets will penetrate enough. If we look at what it's capable of doing in the average uh, guy's torso, that guy is going to be spitting blood. That guy is going to be having a gruesome uh, wound that yeah lots of people say that's not effective it's, it's gruesome but it's not effective okay he has a hole uh, one inch and four inches deep and the plastic wad in there and some of those uh, pellets even going uh, into lungs and you may be thinking well it doesn't penetrate those t uh, 12 inches it doesn't work the reality of it says otherwise and here is where um, we have to look at it and have a little bit of a difference opinion with, with some other people. If you think that because it doesn't have 12 inches of penetration, it is ineffective, you're, you're completely missing the bigger picture. The energy involved in this 12 gauge shot shell is, is huge. As I was saying, four, five times as much as, as a 45 ACP, even if it lacks the penetration, the impact, the energy that you're getting when, when getting hit with one of these is gonna be putting you down in the chest yes there's horror stories of people that got shot and they were still alive they're, they're still uh, sitting walking uh, that happens with absolutely every round you could think of every round you could think of of being effective someone got shot with it and was not stopped by it uh, does that mean that the average guy getting shot in the chest at three four yards it's gonna be walking around no the average guy in most cases getting shot at those distances in the upper torso he's gonna be going down and he's not gonna be fighting anymore there's actually a good video I'm gonna be linking of uh, a f um, football player uh, a video in YouTube uh, a player called uh, Carlos Sascurra and remember that incident well it was um, during a football match in Argentina uh, was all caught in live and in camera one of the <laughs> one of the police officers with a 12 gauge shotgun pointing directly at the player as they were arguing yeah I'll put the link there for you to see if not you can look it up uh, Carlos Ascurra uh, shot something like that you will find it pretty easily but I'll, I'll put the link in there the guy the, the police officer had uh, less than lethal rounds that means that he was using plastic buckshot intended to be non-lethal now in this confused episode he shot at him point blank he shot at him point blank and the the football player went down immediately i mean the punch he, he obviously got from those less than lethal rounds which weren't even going to be penetrating as much as as a lead bird a lead a bird shot were obviously enough the energy alone was enough to put him down bird shot lead bird shot is going to be putting you down as well and putting down whoever is inside your home as well given that you put that round where it counts uh, are there horror stories made it fail yes of course uh, there was a there's an article recently of a, a police officer that got shot at point blank with bird shot and the, the perpetrator shot him in the magazine carrier between the magazine carrier the mag itself it didn't penetrate the guy wasn't, uh, the police officer uh, survived, he wasn't even uh, wounded much. Now, that kind of thing happens with absolutely everything. There's stories of, of knives stopping projectiles as well. Depends on the angle, depends on, on the caliber used, the, the specific type of round use, uh, the, the barrel length as well. There's many, many variables. Now, at the end of the day, bird shot at that range, three, four yards, 
center of mass shot is effective. Uh, finally, why do I arrive to this conclusion besides the obvious uh, things that I'm talking about here? Well, as many videos as there are of people shooting gelatin, people shooting uh, um, uh, artificial walls or, or whatever it is, at the end of the day you have to look at what happens when real people get shot with real 12 gate burst shots. Uh, the people that I've known that shot a number of, of bad guys with, with this, with 12 gauge burst shot, at the ranges I'm talking about, no doubt about it. All right, it is gonna be putting the bad guy down. Horror stories, yes, most cases, you're gonna be going down. You're gonna be having an awful wound in your chest and you won't be able to fight. I'll take the word of uh, a guy that shot many uh, uh, perpetrators or suspects in, in the line of, of duty um, uh, a significant number of, of people shot with this same round telling me that it does work over the word of someone shooting uh, sheet rocks or whatever uh, just to prove a point that you know at the end of the day that, that's what matters if, if it turns out to to be effective and most by most accounts it is effective at those ranges yes is this the final solution to the issue? I mean, no. This is what you basically use when you want to avoid the, the problem of overpenetration. So, of course, if you are talking about a perfect situation that you control entirely and you're not worried about overpenetration, they don't even bother about it. I mean, have an AK-47, an AR-15, uh, have a, a 308 if that's what you want. The idea here is that you are uh, considering bird shot for home defense for indoor home defense at those ranges because you want to avoid the problem of over penetration. Um, most of us live in homes that we have family, we have uh, loved ones. Uh, mo most modern houses have walls that are so thin that an average uh, handgun will uh, handgun round will go through it with plenty of energy left to kill whatever is on the other side. Something like that happens with buckshot as well. Buckshot will go through a drywall and kill whatever is on the other side. Uh, some people don't want to take that, that risk, especially in modern buildings where this happens a lot and you have to think of uh, other people inside the house, maybe even neighbors. Over penetration is a factor to keep in mind. If your house, unless you live in a Hollywood and a huge Hollywood mansion or some other huge house, and these are the ranges you're talking about, birdshot will get the job done while avoiding the problem of over penetration because once it goes through that drywall, it will not have enough force to kill whatever is on the other side. At the same time, it will stop someone when shot center of mass. Maybe not kill him, maybe it will kill him, and it happens thousands of times. Thousands of people getting killed with bird shot don't have any doubt about that, especially at these ranges and shot accurately. So it is good enough to stop someone while avoiding the problem of over penetration. Uh, best round there is for home defense? Of course not. Is it only used for uh, little birds? Yes, as much as 50 BMG is used for anti-material applications. Uh, at those ranges, I would not doubt uh, that it's gonna be effective. So guys, that's basically my, uh, my opinion and I, I'd say that it's my opinion based on, on uh, a little bit more facts than the average, uh, you know, a perception of oh you need the you need, you need these you need you need that you need you always need 12 inches of penetration because the FBI says so if I have a baseball bat and bash your head in with it there's gonna be zero penetration and you're just gonna be just as dead all right you can punch someone to death you can beat someone to death with a stick with a baseball bat with a with a club it's not always just about penetration. There's a little bit more to it, and this would be a good example. 22 long rifle will penetrate your 12 inches. You think that 12, 22 long rifle is more effective than 12 gauge bird shot or whatever? You're nuts, of course not. It's not only about penetration, yes, even if, if, if the FBI says so, right? There's not always the final solution and final answer to everything. Guys, that's all for now. Have a great day, take care. Yes, if you have a house and you're worried about over penetration and the ranges you're gonna be shooting are maybe three, four uh, yards at most, don't have any doubt about the efficiency of birdshot, babe. <laughs> take, take it easy, have a great day.